Hey, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Michael. In this video, I want us to look at the uses of the word have and also the uses of the word has. These words are actually the same, but uh, we are going to see the small difference that exists between these two words. So normally the word have or the word has is used to, to mean that you own something or you hold something in your hand. So let us look at the sentences that I have written down here. Number one, we have the sentence, I have a book. I have a book, which means that I own a book or I'm holding a book in my hand. And then number two, we can see the, the sentence which says that, the sentence which says that you have a nice phone. You have a nice phone. This also means that you own a nice phone, your phone is good, or you are holding a phone in your hand. Then let's look at number three. We have a big house. We, we are many, and maybe two, three, four, four of us. And then we are saying that we have a big house, which means that our house is big. We own a house and it is big in size. Then we have number four. They have nice cars. They have nice cars. So this is when you are talking about uh, many people, maybe a group of people, maybe they are two, three, four, and so on. And you want to say that they own, um, they own nice cars. They have nice cars. Maybe there are three, and each of them has a nice car. So we normally say that they have nice cars. Then there's this other sentence here which says that um, she has an orange. She has an orange, which means that she's holding an orange in her hand. And then we also have this sentence here, number six. He has two books. I'm going to tell you the difference between the words have and has. Because as you can see, we have changed from the word have. Now we are talking about the word has. When we are talking about she, we are using the word has. She has an orange. He has two books. Then here we have number seven, which says that my friend has a blue coat. My friend has a blue coat. Then Tom has a black car. Tom has a black car. So the difference between the words have and has is this. When we talk about, when we use the pronouns I, you, we, or they, we use the word have. So normally we say, I have, you have, we have, they have, and also when you are using any, any plural uh, noun, like the students, students, they are many, you can say that. The students have books. Uh, or maybe two names like Tom and Mary have nice phones. We use the word have when we are talking about many people. My, you can also say that my parents have a big house. My parents have a big house. So the word has is used when we are talking about she, he, and also the pronoun it. So we can say that we can say that he has two books, she has an orange. Um, 
it which normally refers to things which are not human beings, things like animals and objects. We use the word it. So like we can say, uh, maybe we are talking about a cat. We can say that it has a long tail. It has a long tail or it has it has long legs okay so those are the those are that that's how we use the the words have and has also the word has you can use it when you are talking about singular nouns like you can say like now here number eight tom has a black car tom has a black car Tom, the word Tom is a singular noun, which is name of one person. And then you also can say, my friend has a black car, or my friend has a blue coat. You can also say that my sister has two books, or my brother has two mangoes, which means that my brother is is holding two mangoes in his hands, or maybe he owns two mangoes. That is what it basically means. Then now, the past tense of the words have and has is always the word had. So whether you are talking about um, one person or many people, whether you are talking about yourself or someone else, uh, when you want to talk about the past, the time that has ended, maybe you want to talk about yesterday, last week, last month, and so on, the word that you should use is had. So here we say, I had a book yesterday. I had a book yesterday. You can actually go ahead and say, I had a book yesterday, but today I don't have it. I don't have it. I had a book yesterday, but I don't have it. Or you can say, I had money yesterday, but today I don't have money. So that's how you use the word had. Number two here, you can see, we had money last week. We had money last week. If it is about today, you should say, we have money today. But now that you are talking about last week, you can say, we had money last week. And you also can use it to say, we had money uh, yesterday. You also can say, we had money today morning. Then uh, there's this last sentence here. She had a toy when she was young. No, like now she's older. Uh, when she was young, that could be maybe two years ago, three years ago, or even 10 years ago, or even 20 years ago. That is in the past. So we use the word had. She had a toy when she was young. If it is about today, then we say she has a toy today. But now, because we are talking about when she was young, he said she had a toy when she was young. So basically, this is how we use the words have and has. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe. Also click on the uh, notification bell so that you get notified every time I do a new video for you. I'm going to do more and more videos. I hope you are going to enjoy. Thank you for watching.